morning everyone. So today I'm going to be helping out with the family activities at Elizabeth Gaskell's house. So I thought I'd vlog it and show you around the house because it's such a lovely place and I have a few bits and bobs to do as well this morning and also afterwards. So I've got a really busy day ahead. It's quarter to seven and I need to be leaving. So I'm off and I hope you enjoy it. You might have seen before, I got a coffee and I picked up some bread in this bag. Don't know whether you can see that. But yeah, and um, I just did some work being a guest on a radio station. And I'll insert a clip here. Yeah, I think, I, I feel really uh, optimistic about DJ Zeta and DJ Rana. I think yeah. you guys are going to be awesome. Or hey, awesome already. Hi, and yeah, now I'm on my way to Elizabeth Gaskell's house. So yeah. Uh, busy morning it's only quarter past ten and I've done quite a bit so I'm gonna go to Gaskell's house and have some fun there so I'll show you around when I get there this is the house from the outside let's go in so this is the front of the house I've got the door open there and then you can ring the doorbell And this is the morning room, so this is where um, Elizabeth Gaskell's kids would be taught their lessons and there's a picture of them there. So there is Marianne, Mita and Flossy Gaskell. So interactive map of Manchester um, and you can just click on oh, and there's loads of things to do around Manchester. Um, that people don't know about that includes a house um, but there's it's such a great city so if you ever come please visit here We've got elizabeth gaskell's veil there one of her descendants actually came in and she wore the veil to her wedding and her daughter was there as well um, and the mum was like oh are you going to wear that for your wedding and the kid said oh no i'd hate to wear that that's quite a funny story so yeah morning room this is the study and I love it because you can touch everything in here. You can sit down on the chair. What I'm going to do. There we go. And you can touch all the books, take them out. Um, William Gaskell was a Unitarian minister that's like a sect of Christianity and he's, he was a really interesting person. So they believed in the idea of social justice um, and they were really involved in the community and helping everyone in community, so poorer people as well. Um, they were just a great family. This is the drawing room, and if you can play the piano, we let people play here. And you can sit on all the chairs. Here we go. So Charlotte Bronte actually visited this house, Charles Dickens did, and there's a story where Charlotte actually hid behind one of these curtains. That's so cool. You can also sit on the chaise. What I'm going to do. And this is the dining room. Yes. Going up the stairs. Got loads of pictures. And then we'll just go to the exhibition room. There's me. <laughs> this is the exhibition room. So some info on the house. And also, this is my favourite board. Wives and Daughters, North and South. Cranford. Love it. Just been making silhouettes with the kids. That looks amazing. <laughs> that looks great. Just 
So I've got Jessie. Mrs. Gaskell here, yeah. and then what's her name again? I'm Hearn. I'm Hearn. Hearn. I'm Hearn, the housekeeper. So yeah, all dressed up. Yes, here we are. <laughs> I'm now just doing some admin on the front desk. <laughs> If you don't know, Elizabeth Gaskell was a Victorian novelist. Um, she wrote North and South, Cranford, Mary Barton, Wives and Daughters and loads more. She was such a sociable person for her era, so she was friends with Charlotte Bronte who came over. Her husband was good friends with Beatrix Potter's family as well. Um, Florence Nightingale has links with them. Charles Dickens. Harriet Beecher Stowe came here. Um, so you know the doorbell I showed you before. They've all, well, maybe not them, but their servants have rung the doorbell. They've all come into this house and I find that so cool. Um, so I love volunteering here. So show you the desk where she wrote because I find that so interesting because she was a mother and a writer at the same time. And I think that's really admirable that she could still balance the two. She was a working mother and that was really interesting. And it just shows how much of a real person she was. Um, she could still do all these mundane things but still be a world famous writer. This is the desk that Elizabeth Gaskell wrote at. Do you want to come into my video, Megan? Yeah, sure. I'm making a video of the house. Is there anything you'd like to tell us about the desk over there? Oh, yes. like, there's no light. Absolutely. So um, this was uh, Mrs. Gaskell's writing desk. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is where she would sit. She was a very sociable mm -hmm. um, woman. Yeah. And she'd like to have it open. Her daughters would be having maybe the... piano lessons yeah. next door. And she'd be writing here. And here we have mm -hmm. a facsimile yeah. of a letter. Um, and if you open this, you can actually hear the quill on yeah. paper writing. Oh, can you wait? And it's actually oh, yeah, it's quite can. atmospheric. You can. And you can yeah. imagine her yeah. being at the desk and you can mm -hmm. sit and imagine that you are yeah, Mrs. Gaskell writing a letter mm -hmm. to Charles Dickens. Great view as well, nice massive windows. Yes. That's good. These are the letters, aren't they, to Dickens? Yes, and it's yeah. her household words, the um, yeah. magazine that she was part of. This was actually, um, originally you can see the steps going down. It looks like a window, but this would lift all the way up uh, and become a door and they would go out and uh, milk the Yeah, into the garden. Bring some up, basically. Gardens so. out here, if you can see. There we go. Yes. They owned all the land. Yeah, they um, did. Stretched out all the way over there. And the park. Um, yeah, like the park there, over here. To them as well. So um, this was the mm -hmm. dining table and it is laid out in the style à la française, which means <laughs> all the dishes at once. Yeah. So Elizabeth would be sitting at this side of serving the soup and then and William would be carving the meat on this On side. this one? Oh, yes. that's this interesting. Is not actually real bread. No, it's not real it's bread, bread, unfortunately. <laughs> Rock hard. <laughs> And um, here to uh, the left of the table, we can see a painting of uh, William Gaskell's mother. And we know that she's a widow in this painting because she's looking straight ahead. Oh, wow. If you were a married woman, you'd be expected to look at the side. As That's so interesting. At your husband, yeah. Being an attentive wife. Oh, wow. And I'm not sure how I feel about Yeah, I know. <laughs> hmm. That uh, in the hallway, the darker colours on the stained glass are original. We couldn't actually find one that matched when we were restoring mm. the house, so it's a slightly large shape, but you can only yeah. see <laughs> yeah. um, It was said that the daughters would stand in this hallway mm -hmm. and um, perform practice plays to perform to Oh, wow. Family. And the family would sit up the stairs, oh, yeah. and when they were ready to perform, they would open the doors. Oh, that's such a good idea. That's so cute. I could so imagine doing that as a child myself. Yeah, That'd definitely. Be good. And they would have had like a selection yeah. of hats hanging oh, up on the stand yeah. ready for them to use if they exactly. wanted to use props and stuff. Very nice. This is what I'm wearing. Not the most, um, what do you call it, uh, authentic, Victorian. real estate Victorian, but Victorian. what can you do? <laughs> Try my best. Finished up at the house now. Um, it's such a lovely house. Please come and visit. We love having visitors, um, and it's a lovely place to volunteer. So yeah, give us a visit at Elizabeth Gaskell's house. And I'm back home, and I just wanted to say thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a bit all over the place because I was very busy today, but I hope you enjoyed it. And please subscribe, like it, tell all your friends, and yeah.